us how you started Accommable and were able to grow this platform. Sure. So um, I used to be a corporate lawyer working in the city of London. And in 2012, um, I left that to go back to university again. Um, before that, I'd, I'd gone traveling for several months and I'd found it was really difficult. So I would turn up to places and rooms wouldn't be suitable for me. Bathrooms wouldn't be big enough. And it was just really difficult to find suitable travel locations. So fast forward a couple of years and I retrained as a web developer and I had a bit of time in the summer of 2015 and with a friend of mine from childhood Martin we basically prototyped a product uh, where you know we would vet listings with a huge amount of detail have a far greater delete uh, a far greater level of listing granularity and allow our users to search for accessibility information and it just started off as just a fun project to see whether we could help people and from then on people started engaging with it and it grew from there now, your team is staying in London, but you're actually moving to Airbnb headquarters yes. here in San Francisco. How do you imagine Airbnb integrating Accommable into the site? Will it remain a separate site? Will all of your listings simply go on to Airbnb? Sure. So Accommable is going to be wound down over the coming months, and the idea is that we will be integrating our know-how and expertise into Airbnb. Um, our existing hosts are going to have the option of coming across, and we'll start that communication with them over the coming weeks. Now, you know, Airbnb has been criticized for discriminating against people with disability. Uh, there's a Rudkerd study that points this out, that people with disabilities get pre-approved at a lower rate than people without. The hotel industry has leveled the same kind of criticism. Why do you think Airbnb has had such a hard time dealing with these kinds of problems? So I mean it's difficult to comment on sort of past reports, but I think the key issue here is that accessibility is not an Airbnb problem. I mean, disabled customers are often disadvantaged in a whole host of different industries, and it is why we built a Commonwealth because there was that opportunity there. And I think the thing with Airbnb is that they are they're taking the lead here and really trying to solve this problem uh, by bringing us on board. So you know, I think the key thing is to look ahead and look forward. And actually, the Airbnb are being the thought leader here and actually trying to solve this problem. So, what do you think are the root causes? You know, when it comes to hosts and getting people to remove their biases. Mm -hmm. So I think with us, it's, it's less about the biases. There's a lot of issues to do with, you know, having the right listings and having the right amenities on there. And actually, you know, how do you vet something? How do you know a roll-in shower is actually a roll-in shower? Mm -hmm. You know, are the grab rails correct? So this is the kind of expertise that we'll be bringing on board and helping train hosts and helping train the community in how to in, in how to help the customers that we serve. So you know, what are some of the things that you personally plan to bring to the Airbnb? table. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've had a lot of conversations with them that's led you to this point. Yep. So I'll be, uh, you know, it's my sort of second day at the company, so I'll be putting together the roadmap in due course and hopefully the community and the Airbnb community will help us build that. So one of the things is it's working upon Airbnb's existing work where the filters have been improved. There are new um, amenities that can be searched for on listings. So it will be taking that forward and trying to build that and make it more useful to our community. Um, we are going to hopefully um, you know, work on increasing the user base of disabled hosts and really passionate about trying to get more disabled people to share their space on Airbnb and really building out the market because I think the World Health Organization said that 15% of the world's population have a disability of some kind. So we think this is an amazing opportunity here to reach an untapped market. And how well positioned do you think Airbnb is poised uh, to meet these needs versus hot the ho hotel industry in general? So independent rentals are really popular within our community. So if you are a disabled traveler, mm -hmm. you know, having extra space if you're traveling with family or assistance or if you have equipment to take, is actually really helpful. So Airbnb stock of independent rentals actually could help our community much more than anything else.